what's new on the Burlington waterfront. Hey, now it's happening at the waterfront on Lake Champlain. Whatever the weather, there's so much to do on the new waterfront, the Burlington waterfront. Welcome to On the Waterfront with Mariah Riggs. Um, today I'm very excited because I have a wonderful guest, MC Dublina, who is the Executive Director of the Vermont Dance Alliance. Welcome, MC. It's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for having me. So um, for all of our guests, um, why don't you tell us what the Vermont Dance Alliance is? Sure. Uh, the Vermont Dance Alliance is a nonprofit member-funded run organization um, that we aim to shine a light on dance happening in Vermont um, by supporting, connecting, and promoting um, our dancers, dance artists, and even our dance lovers. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> and that's really important in the state of Vermont. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think so. We have, um, and, I, and I don't know if our viewers are aware of how dynamic uh, the dance organizations in Vermont really are. Uh, we have an incredible depth of talent. Yeah. Um, and, and an incredible um, spectrum of uh, creative arts and people involved in dance that do some pretty remarkable work. Yeah. Um, and since the Vermont Dance Alliance has existed, um, it's really helped as an umbrella organization to kind of pull all those things together. Um, I yeah. keep talking to people and I always find that Vermont's like a lot of satellites. It has, you know, it, the regions are real yeah and and it's in, in having sort of statewide organizations that can kind of bring all those parts together is just so important especially i think in the creative arts definitely that was why vda was founded you know hana um so who is the founder of VDA? <laughs> yes i was just gonna say that hana satterly founded vda in 2017 as like a response to the need for dancers to know what's going on in the state of Vermont in dance. Mm -hmm. People were feeling very much those islands, you know, knowing what they were doing and knowing what their friends were doing, but not knowing anything else mm -hmm. or anything else is happening. And by creating this website and creating this organization, um, Hannah was able to really shine a light, like have the, uh, the website host all of the information mm -hmm. that we need, classes, workshops, performances, and we're able to then not only know what's going on, but then to support each other. Which is great. And so how would somebody, um, just so if anybody's interested, um, it's on the screen right now. It's www.vermontdance.org. So if you're interested in looking at the website, um, putting on your list of favorites because you're a huge dance lover, um, you can find it right there um, at the bottom of the screen and check it out because yes. it is a great website. Yeah, and it's it's not just for dancers and dance makers. It's also for people who have just really like dance, really want to support dance, see dance. Um, we we love everybody to be, <laughs> be interested in dance. Well, it's a form of human expression. Yeah, um, and it's it, it's a profound form of human expression. I would say that it's one of the original forms of human expression. You know, we have we have visual arts. We have we we make noises. Yeah, yeah. So that's like the music. Yeah. But then we move our bodies. Yeah, and that's what I always say when people say, oh, I don't understand dance. I'm like, do you have a body? And are you moving through space and time? Because that's all dance is. Yeah. You know, we're just, like, we're doing a dance right now. You know, mm -hmm. like, we can look at it like the broad spectrum. I talk to my kids all the time about this. But, you know, every baby, every kid is born and immediately mm -hmm. they, they can dance. They mm -hmm. can dance. And so... I'm always like, why? Why do you feel disconnected from this? <laughs> like, we should feel more connected to it. Yeah, and I've, you know, it's funny, I've had a couple of conversations too, and I feel like as a society, you know, we've gotten very into being critical, hypercritical mm -hmm. about things that are arts related. Yeah. Like, everybody now is a critic. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody's on The Voice or everybody's in like America's Got Talent. Yeah. So you're able to, you're always making judgments or if it's TikTok and dance videos, mm -hmm. you know, like it's all about making judgments on what other people are doing as opposed to it being an expressive capacity of human nature. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Which, which I think is unfortunate because it's one of the cool things about being a human. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and also I, I have a strong, my own personal you know, belief is that everybody should be able to move and dance. Mm -hmm. And um, I teach 
little kids in my other job. And uh, a big thing that I say is like, let's all look and see how different we each move and appreciate that. You know, you don't look like your neighbor yep. and that's amazing, that's wonderful. And it doesn't, you know, you don't have to be in ABT or New York City <laughs> Ballet to like be a dancer. Yeah. And it's, that's really important to me that that opportunity is there for people to move if they want to. And that's a great point. Everybody's a dancer. And I have some friends who would disagree. They're the head bobbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then <laughs> the they're world. a head bobber dancer. That's true. That's, that's fine. <laughs> that's their own form those. of expression. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So, um, so, uh, so really quickly, um, We've talked about it a little bit, but what is the vision of the Vermont Dance Alliance? Really, we really desire to take the onus off of our members. Um, and their membership fees pay our bills, keep our lights on, and it's wonderful and we love it and we're so thankful. But like just what we were talking about before this, dance is expensive. Yep. And artists don't really aren't don't really aren't really raking in the dough, mm -hmm. and so by the six dollars a month we asked of them, it's it's not yeah. much, but it still is uh, mm -hmm. it still can be a stretch for some people, yeah. and it would be our just biggest wish and desire to be able to actually fund dance mm -hmm. to be giving them the money and them the funding and them yeah. the space to do their work or to take their classes rather than. At constantly asking of them. Yes, but, I mean, which of course I, I think of it more as like a trade organization. You yeah. know, like yeah. you're paying dues to a yes. trade organization that's bringing contextuality yeah. and networking and has value added components to mm -hmm. it that expand the scope of the work that you're able to achieve. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, which, and, and at $6 a month is probably better than most espressos. I think so. At the, same, <laughs> yeah. at the same price point. So, yeah. I mean, that definitely. is a value added service. Definitely, yeah. And, you know, we just, don't want to ever have to raise that price. Mm -hmm. You know, with inflation, where our costs are going up of everything, 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 and we just, we just can't mm -hmm. ask more of our members. They're, you know, they're, they're blood. You know, <laughs> they're our heart. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and then that's poor. It's it's very much from what I've understood. It seems like it's a very much a grassroots organization. Yeah, definitely. Where it is, the power of the organization comes from the roots of its organ. Mm -hmm. You know, this members. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. From the bottom up. Yeah, and we want to be grateful to them and be supporting them. Also, one of the things that in our vision that we're trying to head mm -hmm. towards is more advocacy, yeah. and to really get dancers and um, our members into the state house and really talk about wow. what dance like means and yeah. how much like dance is important for our community and society. Um, so that's something we haven't mm -hmm. gone into yet, but that's a really like. Yeah, because it tends to be and you know, for me, I, you know, I, I run a performing arts center, which you all know. And, um, you know, I, I find that the arts, on, you know, as a whole, Dance always to me, and I think it's very unfortunate, tends to be in the sidelines, mm -hmm. uh, comparable to things like visual arts, um, and in some ways media arts, mm -hmm. um, and other forms of the arts. Um, and it doesn't get sort of the grant representation. Yeah, um, it does not. <laughs> yeah. Which, is, which is a real issue. Yeah. And um, as one of what I would consider one of like the, you know, cardinal arts, mm -hmm. um, I do think it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there's there's just a huge expense to making dance. You have, you know, t if you have 10 dancers and you're creating work, you're not just buying, uh, you know, a score yeah. to, to just learn in a day and then perform the next day. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but choreographers are making new stuff all the time with dance and they're spending hours with their dancers in a studio. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking about rental space, yep. you're thinking about paying those dancers yep. for the t their time and their performance, you know, and then the performance yep. and all the money that goes and all the cost with the performance. And hopefully the revenue from the performance can actually support the work. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is a nail biter. I mean, the margins on that oh, are yeah. significantly small. Yeah. And I don't know if the community is fully aware of like how minuscule <laughs> <laughs> Those margins are, yeah, yeah, and it's really a labor of love. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's something I constantly hear from people who do dance is mm -hmm. that, you know, it's it's something they do because they love the work and they want to bring it out there. They mm -hmm. just it, and they know they're not going to get a lot in return. Yeah, 
uh, but they want they want the audience to experience what they're trying to you know show to them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just looking at our spreadsheet from like the, all the years because we're trying to apply for another grant and you know I, I always relook at all the numbers and the events that we do, the performances we do, it's just that. It's looking at the cost and the income and seeing that like negative number you know there and um, that we responded with that or to that by um, changing our focus this year and we're not going to be doing many events or many performances yeah. but in turn like showing up to those members performances because yeah. you know it's great getting the word out yes and like being there and being VDA there present yeah and and uh, being a body in the seat yep. and then um, also saying hey you guys are at this dance performance look what all this other stuff is happening you know like next yeah. week the week after that our members are doing it isn't it just and it can kind of grow sort of that in, or organic chemistry of yeah. like artists seeing other artists work, which also can affect their work. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and like using that to build because sometimes um, seeing other people's work um, fulfills like the mission of your work. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah, it does. And it helps you grow as an artist. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's also part of the interconnectivity. I think that's really important about the Alliance. Oh, definitely. I was at the um, Stone Valley Dance Collective. It's a new dance collective wow. um, last weekend in Rutland. And where are they? They're in Rutland. Wow, there's yeah. a new dance collective <laughs> in Rutland, yes. and it's called what? The Stone Dan Stone Valley Dance Collective. I'm That's hoping exciting. I get that right. Um, it's one of our board members started it with some of her dance friends, and mm -hmm. um, it was just so lovely. It was like so many dancers because they were aching to dance. Yeah. They were aching for performance, and they paid for their own costumes, <laughs> paid for their own space and wow. their lighting. And you know, they're. I'm looking at this talent, going, I wish I could just be throwing them all, yeah, no, no. <laughs> you know, money. Yeah. But I, I was also just so grateful to see mm -hmm. this really generous performance. And it's wonderful. And they, and they were able to get their art out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which I think is also part of like, you know, people talk a lot now about mental health mm -hmm. and, yeah. you know, recovery after the pandemic. Yes. And sometimes, you know, I, I really think that art heals if it's a part of who you are. Yeah. Yeah. And so by having those kinds of experiences yes. is kind of a very fulfilling. Oh, yeah. For both audience yep. and the performer. You know, there was there was all these kids in the audience too and I'm just going oh isn't it so great to have kids at a dance performance like that's all that I want and they're moved by it <laughs> yeah and you can see how it yes. it, it has and, and there's some, one of the most amazing things and I, I can't remember the quote or what it is but to me about dance too is dance is a universal language yeah it's one of the only I mean of course visual arts but it's one of the, it, it's an art form that transcends language yeah yeah, you know, it, yeah. it's just part of the human experience. Exactly. And yeah. so everybody understands dance art. Yeah, and the, I mean, going to the science of it, you know, like your mirror neurons are firing when you're seeing movement. So you're literally dancing as, even if you can't dance or you're, you know, you're paralyzed even, mm -hmm. like that doesn't matter. Your mirror neurons in your brain are firing. Really? And like you're actually doing the movement in your brain with dancers. That's so cool. <laughs> so cool. I, I have not heard of, of the mirror. Uh, yeah, theory. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if any of you have, but that that's absolutely fascinating. Yeah, and I hope I didn't get it. I probably got it sort of right. You know, I. I but that's wonderful. I'm I'm going to look into that. Yeah. I, I I think that's really fascinating. Yeah. It's why it moves us so deeply. You know. Yeah, and, and, it, and it causes that. I mean, that's also just part of our interconnection too. Yeah, I think definitely. Um. So. Uh, quickly, how did you get introduced to the Vermont Dance Alliance? Yeah, I um, moved here from Philadelphia in 2015, and I had three kids, and so didn't do much mm -hmm. dancing. Then had a lovely fourth kid, not, you know, a, a whoops, but very happy <laughs> whoops, and um, started to get back into dancing very quickly after he was born because I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> and got introduced to Hannah Dennison mm -hmm. and was part of the Quarry Project. And okay. from there, met all these VDA members. And so what is the Quarry Project? The Quarry Project was a, it is, was, I think it's still going on, um, a amazing dance work that happened in the Wells, Lamson and Quarry. Um, last this summer sorry <laughs> like time is time is weird uh and we uh we danced on barges in the middle of this quarry and it was really wow with live music on a bar it was just the most amazing 
uh, That's the homes I've ever now, been in. Now, and is it ongoing? Will somebody actually be able to go see it this S summer? Unfortunately, maybe? no. Okay. It was sold out. Wow. All 16, 19 performances that we did. <laughs> I mean, it sounds incredible. <laughs> yeah, this is, it was wonderful. There are, there are going to be more things happening mm -hmm. like as like an echo of it. So there's going to be a film that Lucas Huffman is putting out. Oh, great. Um, and uh, there might be some other like echoes of the performance happening. Wow. Um, I've heard murmurs and rumors. I can't say anything specific, but. Um, That's an exciting project. Yeah, and we, I, so I got started mm -hmm. in that in 2018. So it wow. was four years that I was a part of that. And from there met um, Hannah Sanders yep. Satterley. And that's, uh, that's how I got introduced to VDA, but then when I became a member, it was when I started putting on my own work and yep. wanted to promote it. And I said, Hannah, how do I do this? And she said, well, you can become a member <laughs> <laughs> for $6. Good executive director. <laughs> exactly, yeah, it was great. I know, I was just thinking about that. I was like, oh, right, I put on a show and I wanted to promote it, mm -hmm. and what did I do? I became a VDA member yep. and haven't left. <laughs> there you go. And, and, and so uh, currently, I mean, you know, this is maybe part of my understanding of the scope. I mean, there's there are dance groups pretty much in every part of Vermont at this yeah. point. Yeah. Um, there's many. I, I don't think people in, uh, realize how many organizations there are statewide. Yeah. For dance. Yeah. There's a lot of not only organizations. There's studios that you know put out a lot of dance, mm -hmm. and um, there's just people like me who just are choreographing. You know, just yeah. just taking whoever. <laughs> And, and making stuff up um, and yeah. it's it's really we have about 130 members that's um, significant yeah yeah I mean for a state our size yeah I mean that's that's a very vibrant community it is and I don't think people realize to the extent how um, how we're busted us yeah yeah it really is, and uh, the amount of classes yep. that are posted to our website, like daily, you know, I get the notifications <laughs> on, my, on my email, and I'm just like so excited, you know, I just wanted to like tell everybody all the time. I'm constantly <laughs> trying to keep up with the Instagram, you know, to tell people yeah. and everything. So. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. exciting. And just speaking of Instagram, I just recently noticed that you guys had a retreat. Yes. We did. And so what is a Vermont dance a lot? I, I, you can't tell me too much because it's a retreat, <laughs> exactly. and I understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> For the general public, I mean, w what's a Vermont Dance Alliance retreat? Uh, it was camping. We, awesome. We camped at Onion River Campground. They are so generous. They give us their space for free. Amazing. Amazing. And um, they set us up right on like this apple orchard and we just set up our tents and we danced and we talked and we had a fire and it was just, so needed after our isolation, mm -hmm. you know, even though we've, you know, we're slowly coming out, but we really haven't been able to sit together. Um, and we taught each other, you know, so somebody, I have an idea of this thing. Should we do this? Yeah. And then we just <laughs> went and did the thing. Um, and it was very, just very soul filling. Oh, that's and, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. See, I mean, those are the valid value added things that you are bringing to the community too. Yeah. I mean, sometimes just getting creative people together. That's sometimes all you need. <laughs> it is. It's a huge part of the organic process. It really is. Yeah. Which is yeah. really wonderful. So, um, uh, so, uh, who makes up your board of directors? Our board of directors currently uh, are four wonderful humans who are our VDA members. You know, who mm -hmm. really, really care about VDA and really want to put in that time and talent. Yeah. Um, and we have um, Sarah Briggs, Nicole Ullman, uh, Kristen Campbell, and Joy Madden. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a small but mighty group. <laughs> Tiny but mighty? <laughs> yes, exactly. <Yeah. laughs> it's not the size, it's the quality. It is, and they're, they're, they're wonderful. And I'm so excited to have them. Mm -hmm. um, they each bring their own talent, mm -hmm. uh, and they give a lot of time to. I people. mean, I would assume it's a very hard working board. It really is. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Which is important because, again, it's an alliance, so it is the sum of its parts. Yes, definitely. Uh, which yeah. is great. Now, if somebody, um, if anybody is watching, how would they contact you about becoming a member? Um, they could just go to vermontdance.org okay. and right on the homepage, just scroll down. Okay. And at the bottom, it's all the different levels. We have an artist member at $6 a month. We have a patron level at $9 a month, and we have a partner level at $12 a month. And they each give you a little bit different okay. stuff or where you fit in mm -hmm. that group. Um, oh, which is wonderful. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's great. So if you're interested, please go to the website um, and join the Alliance because uh, it's going to be wonderful yeah. for you. It's going to open up a lot of horizons. Um, so, um, you know, I, I wanted to ask too really quickly, um, you know, it's interesting hearing about the advocacy component. Um, so where are you guys, what are you guys thinking about doing as far as advocacy? You know, I don't know yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's something that we started talking about last mm -hmm. year and with the amount of events that we put on and since it's, you know, I have my board, but it's just me. Yeah. Yep. I one woman show. Um, a lot of the administration stuff and the event planning and stuff and the grant writing pulls my focus. Yeah. And so that's why we were sort of like, let's clear away and figure out where, mm -hmm. like where to put some more effort into. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the job is part time. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at, I'm a mother of four, and when I looked at my time, I said, well, that's all the time that I have. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. there, I can put in a few extra hours, but it really can't create hours mm -hmm. in a day. No, no. <laughs> as much as I really want to add an Is extra this mother one. of two, <laughs> yeah. yes, it's a real thing. Yeah, exactly. No. Um, so I think that, you know, once we get past um, writing mm -hmm. the annual report and a few more things I'm going to really look into. Um, I had a conversation with John Clackey yep. uh, last year oh, about, you know, uh, what to do for advocacy and how to show up. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I've got to reach out to him again. And and, just, and John's uh, a huge resource. For the, the, those of you who are not aware, John uh, was the executive director of the Flynn for many years um, and has a background in dance from San Francisco. Yeah. Um, that was John's entire life. Yeah. So um, I know a big part of his heart is about, you know, advocating for yes. dance in Vermont. Exactly. And now he's on, he, now he's a representative yeah. from Shinnecock County, so that's super helpful. Yeah, yeah, I know, um, and, I, and I'm a big. Perfect partner. Big, huge Also the proponent. sweetest person on earth. <laughs> Did you hear that, John? <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> I know, and I think yeah. that reaching out it's to perfect. people who know mm -hmm. what to do rather than trying to make up the yeah. wheel again, you know, is super important, so. And making sure the supports are there because I don't think, um, you know, it, it's interesting. I was uh, talking to somebody this morning and, and, and saying that I was interviewing you and they were like, well, when you think about Vermont and the contextuality of the small towns around the state, mm -hmm. almost every small town has a studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you, th you know, it's, it's funny, we have libraries. Yep, yep, exactly. And you have like a little dance studio and, and whoever's running that is a dancer mm -hmm. who is enriching your community and bringing yes. dance to your community, which is a value added com community component. Yes. And it 100%. boggles the mind how many of those studios are literally in towns across Vermont. Yeah. That you would never, I mean, places you never would, would think yeah. that they actually have a dance studio. Yeah, we've just started making a list of all these dance studios because we have, some of them are our members, yeah. you know, and then some of them aren't. And so, like, come and join us, you know, come and join this alliance and promote your studio through us. And then let's, there's so much sharing that could happen. You know, they could rent out space to the, the other members. Yes. Um, they could partner with us on a workshop or a project they're thinking about. Like, I want to be the muscle for people. I want to be the people, the person writing the um, business sponsor letters and like the, you know, grants <laughs> for people. Like, I want to yeah. be able to, to be that for dance, for dancers. Um, and again, it's the sum of its parts. So it's interesting to think that there are these studios in almost every small town in Vermont, yeah, and they're out there. And if they can network with each other, yes. then all of a sudden people have rehearsal space. Yeah. They have, you know, it's amazing how they can fill in together. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and make things stronger. Definitely, definitely. Rather than just living on your little island, like to I mean, make those bridges. Vermont has a lot of islands. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and and MC is the bridge builder. Very, very, yeah. very important. So there's a couple of events uh, coming up this year um, that I wanted to talk about. Um, so w there's, and I'm don't know. I'm probably butchering this. Okay. Nachmo. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. You got Probably. it. It's kind of like um, nachos. <laughs> the National Choreography National Choreography Month. And so, can you tell us a little bit more? What is National uh, Choreography Month, and when is it? Great. It is in January, okay. and it is kind of like a, a version of Nano Remo. You know, mm -hmm. the the National Writing yep. Month, and. Uh, the organization, Nachmo, is based mm -hmm. in, I think, New York. I could be wrong, but um, they uh, send out a prompt every day in January. 
and you get this prompt. Either you can look at it on Instagram, you get it in your inbox, you can get it anyway. And they just say like 20 seconds, you know, make up 20 seconds using a light or make up 20 seconds with just your feet or just your fingers or like come up with a, find a corner of your room and do a slow movement, then change it. It just, it's all sorts of different stuff. Oh, wow. And they encourage you to, to do this, you know, every day. And then you have something maybe at the end of that month. If you want to, oh, you wild. create a dance. So it's almost like an online workshop that, yeah. like, that, that builds on itself. Yeah. Yeah, it's really great. And for me, like I can only speak personally, I've seen a lot of stuff, is um, I actually got involved in Nachmo by participating, um, and then I ran it the next year. But uh, the light mm -hmm. thing really captured me. And so, you know, it was like the 10th prompt, and I'm playing with Christmas lights in my basement. And then I wound <laughs> up just like, now it's my forever, I'm, I'm just, I've, I'm like the third year of like, mm -hmm thinking about Christmas lights and lighting and everything. And it's, it's really that month has like spurred two and almost three performances of my own. Wow. Um, and so Vermont participates, VDA participates in it, Vermont um, representation by uh, hosting workshops and little talks and, um, and a group, a Nachmo mm -hmm. group. And we kind of guide everyone through the process. Um, and then if you would like to, right now it's a on, totally online thing, you mm -hmm. can submit your film. And okay. then we put it together as a kind of little compilation mm -hmm. and we use it as a fundraiser, uh, sell tickets, and then you know you send it out to all your family and friends oh, and wonderful. you get a little moment of your choreography being shown. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And, and it builds it for you too. Yeah, exactly. So it kind of gives you guide rails to like kind of like experiment and see what yeah. you come up with. Yeah, yeah, you don't just come nice. in with an idea at first. You can be a completely blank slate and just, you that's know. That's so much fun and just follow along. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's in January. Yeah. And so will uh, the, the Vermont Dance Alliance uh, be, have that on the website if people want more information? Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's another thing in January. If you guys want to follow along, create your own choreography, uh, you will also find that on the Vermont Dance Alliance uh, website, vermontdance.org, which is very exciting. Yeah. Um, another thing I really wanted to talk to you about, too, is I know you guys every year do an online auction. Yes. Can you tell us a little <laughs> bit more about the online auction? Yeah, it's definitely like the nonprofit's bread and butter. You know, uh, it's <laughs> I think it's a mutually beneficial um, fundraiser mm -hmm. where you're giving money, you're getting something, and the businesses are getting some, you know, basically at some advertising for, for a low cost. Mm -hmm. um, and that happens in the spring, and we're always looking for more businesses to give. So that's another thing, too. Yeah. If you have a business out there um, and you want to help support the Vermont Dance Alliance, you think dance is important, please reach out to MC and um, let her know if you guys are willing to uh, sponsor uh, something for the online auction. Yeah, yeah, we're at um, info at vermontdance.org. Which is great. Yeah. Um, and so you'll take any, like uh, restaurants, I'm talking oh, yeah. to you. Yeah, restaurants. Retail, Exactly, Come on. services, massage <laughs> services. We love massages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, anything. Um, yeah, we have, you know, goods too, you know, little things, yeah. but, but gift certificates are really great and it's everybody loves those. gifts yeah. and everybody loves those yeah yeah that's, that's a wonderful thing that's yeah. super exciting and so that's in the spring yes okay and is that your biggest fundraiser throughout the year yeah it is it makes sense yeah it, it really is I love those auctions <laughs> exactly i know <laughs> But also in the spring, you do a symposium. Yeah, we're going to bring it back. We didn't do it last year. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're really relatively new. So bringing it back, I mean, like, we've done it once. You know? It's a pandemic. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, Hannah Satterley did it in November 2020, and I participated in it. And it was wonderful. And it was all online. And um, this year, we're hoping to have it in person. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the question is where? Mm -hmm. We've talked about those islands. Which island are we going to host it on? And also, are we going to do it hybrid? Are we going to make yep. sure that people who can't make it or people who are out of the state even yep. can come and join? Um, mm -hmm. And we're still in the process of planning it, yep. but we want to um, have dance classes, we want to have, you know, a small performance, yep. we want to have um, experts in their fields. So uh, dance therapy, um, wow. dance, uh, physical mm -hmm. therapy for dancers, mm -hmm. um, 
you know, dance uh, on film is always a big hot one to do, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and we're we're still in the planning process. Um, the Hopkins Center is going to be partnering with us, which oh, is really wonderful. exciting. Oh, that's wonderful. That's very exciting. Yeah, yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. And that's interesting. I mean, not to kind of go off the rails a little bit, but, you know, dance therapy and physical therapy, it, it, it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I know uh, through years of Pilates, but, like, yeah, people don't realize how therapeutic dance really is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, moving your body, feeling music through your body is a very um, uh, healing and wonderful thing. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we don't take advantage of that as much no. as we probably should. No, I, um, I teach a movement for Parkinson's class. Oh, wow. And my favorite story is when I taught it in Philadelphia, this um, lovely man would come in and, you know, exhibiting all the symptoms of Parkinson's mm -hmm. big, big old cane. And then every class, he'd walk out of there and we'd be like, you forgot your cane and just like <laughs> walked out. And that's I amazing. think that's like a huge, like that's like an extreme, you know, uh, See, example. See, there needs to be more health funding for dance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did I mention? Yeah. It's a prime <laughs> partnership. Exactly. I mean, and so it, I think it's healing for, for all of us. Yeah. So uh, everybody, thank you so much. MC yep. Dublina, thank you so much for all the work you do for dance and in the state of Vermont. Uh, again, if anybody uh, wants to find out more information, uh, join the cause, uh, register your studio, uh, just find out more about dance, maybe move your own body, <laughs> go to vermontdance.org, sign up, get excited. Um, dance is vital to our state, and uh, thank you for bringing it to everyone. Yeah. MC, I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. you thank too. you guys so much. Uh, have a great month, and I'll see you right back here uh, in, a, in a month. I redid it myself again. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Take care.